ask Tom on Home Show. Robert from Cypress, Texas has a question about a flood fix. Yeah, Tom, he's got a, a duplex home and it's pier and beam and it's up on concrete blocks. But Robert writes that when it rains, it floods under my home. I installed gutters and a drainage line to the ditch. I also installed a pump under my house four feet deep that pumps water to the ditch. I had to change the beautiful oak floor to a laminate. We nailed that down and installed an air barrier strip under the doors. I'm not sure exactly what that is, Tom, but my question is, should I install the fo foam under the house floor? What can I do, he says, to tackle this problem? This is uh, a problem that's, he's not gonna like the answer, but I'm gonna give it to him anyway. Over the years, that home, which was never high enough off the ground to begin with, it's getting lower underneath and around the outside after grass mowings and landscaping and just life in general over the decades. The ground has raised up with just the, the grass that is you know turning into dirt and people putting stuff on the yard. And underneath it gets more compacted and the water is just naturally going under there. What you need to do if you can get under there, I don't know how much room he has, it doesn't sound like a lot, is you blow bank sand underneath the house and always build it up a little higher than the outside so the water will never run underneath the home. Until you stop that, you can pump it, you can do whatever you want, but when the rain comes down in Houston, it's gonna go into that house and it's gonna create a real mess and everything just starts to get affected by it. The other option, and this is a part that nobody wants to hear if you don't have any room to get under there and do that, is literally raising the house up about six inches, eight inches if you wanna do one block, even 16 inches, two blocks, reattach the plumbing and the electrical service, and then go ahead and build underneath that house with some bank sand. But it's got to get higher under there. As long as it's lower, this problem will continually exist and will continually get worse. Even uh, putting like a tile floor down isn't going to help them because it's got to sit on something and it's got moisture coming up underneath it as well, doesn't it? Eventually, the house is. If you want to save it, it's either going to have. It's going to have to be raised. If it's that low to the ground, they put those homes so low that it was never meant to last. Sixty years, eighty years, hundred years, whatever the case may be, the house will last. But they put them too low, and they just didn't know. They just figured, ah, we're gonna, you know, it's thirty years, forty years, it'll be fine. Uh, but now it's time for it to raise it. And you'll see the old homes, they move them. They move some to the park downtown Houston. They'll take some of these old homes and save them. But it's a matter of moving them and uh, raising them up off the ground. To uh, The rule is 32 inches to the bottom of the floor joist from the ground. And the ground has to be about four to six inches higher than the surrounding area outside of the perimeter of the house. Yeah, the fact that he had a pump on there told me that he was already... You know, pitching it's, behind the count there. If you, yeah, if you, if you get, pump. if you get my meaning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine. The pump will pump, and the dirt will absorb all that water, and it'll become mud. I mean, it's still a problem. All right. You got a question? Pitch it our way, and Tom will take a swing at it. Uh, <laughs> click on that Ask Tom button and uh, fill out the form. Uh, you can send us a video, too, by the way. But fill out the form, send us a picture, give us the information on this form here. I'd be happy to help you out. We post a new one of these every day at homeshowradio.com, our Facebook page, and you'll find me on our YouTube channel. And by the way, if you watch your videos on the YouTube channel and you like what you see, just put a thumbs up on that because it helps us um, by making the video easier for people to find.